shoot. Let's try that again. Oh, hey, I didn't see you guys there. Welcome to another Pro Tip Thursday. Actually, it's Friday, so welcome to another Pro Tip Friday. Hope all of you are having a great week this week. Absolutely insanely busy. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of good stuff going on, getting more jobs, starting to do some more real estate shoots, so I'm really excited about that. And actually, let me show you what I got real quick. Check this out. HD 2000, it's pretty cool. Glide cam. Yeah, I'm really excited to learn this. But anyway guys, today we are going to be talking about the best 4K export settings for YouTube in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. So before we get into it, let's run that Pro Tip Thursday intro. Pro Tip Friday intro, yeah. All right guys, so like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about the best 4K export settings for YouTube in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. If you guys are interested in learning about the best export settings for YouTube uh, for 1080p, click this video right here. But today we are going to be talking about 4K export settings. So let's get into Premiere. Alrighty guys and gals, so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. I have my 4K clip imported and into a 4K sequence on my timeline here. Uh, this video is actually a video that I did that I posted on how to make money with filmmaking. So if you guys wanna learn how to make money with filmmaking, definitely go check that out. There should be a little thing that pops up right around here. But anyway, the first thing that you wanna do before you export your clips, you're gonna wanna set your in and out points. Now I already have them set here, but I'll show you how to do it. All you have to do is go to the beginning of your timeline, hit I, go to the end of your timeline, and hit O, and that's gonna create your in and out points. Next, we're gonna go to File, we're gonna go down to Export, and we're gonna go to Media. So we have our export settings that have popped up here. We have the format, the preset, and the output name. So if you wanna change the output name, you can. I'm just gonna name it Nick, Nick, 4K. And for the format, what you're going to want to do is choose H.264. Mine's already selected there, so if it's already there, just leave it alone. As far as the preset goes, just leave it on match source high bitrate. Now, by leaving the preset on match source high bitrate, it's going to keep it at 3840 by 2160. If you were to go to the preset and you were to choose custom, it would change it to 1920 by 1080. So that's not what we want because we're trying to export in 4K. So just go down to match source high bitrate, and that changes the width and height to 3840 by 2160. Next, you wanna just make sure your frame rate is at 23.976, which is 24 frames per second. If you shot the video at 24 frames per second, that's right where you want it to be. Next, you're gonna go down to render at maximum depth, click that. Now you're gonna go to the encoding settings, you're gonna to go to the profile, and you're gonna change this from main to high, and you're gonna change the level from 5.1, which is that it's at right now, to 5.2. Next, you're gonna go down to the bitrate settings, you're gonna change it from VBR one pass to VBR two pass. Next, you're gonna change the target bitrate and the maximum bitrate to 65, I already have it there. Next, we go to our audio. We don't really have to do much here as long as the sample rate is at 48,000 hertz. You're good to go on there. I usually leave that alone, I don't mess with that too much. Then you're gonna to wanna to go down to use maximum render quality and click export and you are good to go. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. If you liked it, please hit the like button below. And actually, you know, one of the things I'm curious about, uh, I'm up to around like 500 subscribers, a little, I think a little bit more, um, but I'm just curious, what are you all shooting with? I'm, I'm really curious to know what cameras you guys are shooting with, if you guys are Sony people, if you guys are Canon people, Nikon people, I'm really curious. So definitely leave that in the comments down below. And uh, like I always say, if you're not subscribed guys, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.